Hi again, this is John Muller with the JP Muller Group and uh, today we're going to talk about the Action Items tab and how to uh, manage action items and how it works in conjunction with your project plan. So a lot of us project managers um, keep a project plan and hierarchical plan to kind of guide and steer the, uh, the high level of the project. Um, a lot of folks don't like to get into an incredible amount of detail on their project plans but then they may have like an action items list where they get into a little bit more detail and, and kind of assign very specific things for people to do. So um, it was only natural that we kind of add that in here and that's all on the action items um, tab. And I got a few of like kind of samples set up and it, it follows the same kind of guidelines. Don't enter in the blue columns. They're automatic and um, you could enter in the um, issue, action, uh, owner, target, date complete, and uh, comments sections. You notice a few things. First of all, status is automatically um, calculated. And there's really kind of uh, four values. Past due means I don't have a date complete. And the target complete date was before today. Um, open means target complete dates in the future. And the date complete is um, not filled out and those appear as green. Anything with a complete date shows up as blue and uh, will indicate complete. And anything where we don't have a date uh, and it's not complete will show up as yellow or date missing. All right, so very simply, we go here and we can enter a new issue. Um, you, you know, uh, login screen doesn't work. As soon as I enter something in the issue um, column, what it's going to do is automatically fill in an ID. So it has a unique ID, um, an enumerated unique ID, and it gives us something to kind of um, focus in on when we discuss these things, because a lot of times you like to reference these things by number. Um, so issue is really going to be a very short description, whereas um, and, and the action is, you know, what are we going to do about this? Uh, who is it assigned to? Uh, when do we expect it to be complete? So let's say I want this to be complete by 4.15. And as soon as I enter this date, it changed to open. If I happen to enter a date that's before today, it'll tell me it's past due. And as soon as I say it's complete on a day, it'll show as complete. All right. Action items. They're really simple to use. That's how you do it. You could do some filtering up here if you want. It's a standard Google Sheets filtering to help you manage it. But let's talk about some interesting tie-ins here. You'll notice that some of these have a work breakdown structure reference. So let's talk about kind of the dynamics of managing a project and how you may be able to use this. Let's say we're reviewing our project and we're talking about the design phase and I want somebody on my team to do something. Notice it's one, two, one, right? So what I'm going to do is go up here and I say, you know what? I need Donnie to do something. So I'm going to say action new linked to project plan. So new action item linked to project plan. I'm going to choose that in the menu. It's going to take me to the action items tab and it's going to put in this link here. And I'm going to say, you know, kind of do something, whatever it is. I'm going to sign it to Donnie. And now I have the link, it automatically filled out the ID, automatically tells me date's missing because I didn't enter a date yet, so let's you know, make that 15. Now it's open. Donnie has something to do. And that's how you create a new action item from the currently selected task. And notice it says 121. Let's just for fun do something. Let's outdent this. We talked about indenting and outdenting in a different time frame or a different uh, video. So when we do that, it's going to change this from 121 to 13. So it's actually going to change that reference. Let's see what happens. So let's go indent, well, excuse me, outdent. So that's going to change it to a 2 there, and it changes the WBS to a 1.3. Let's see what it did on the Action Items tab. Notice it preserved the WBS reference, because it's exactly that. It's a reference rather than hard-coded number. So it's flexible to understand when we insert 
um, different tasks that cause our work breakdown structure identifier to change, it will change accordingly here as well. Great functionality. Let's uh, undo that so that it changes back. And again, we'll go back and notice it says 121 now. All right, so let's talk about something else. Let's say we're doing a project plan update or a project update through our governance. And we're talking about go live. And we say, well, do we have any issues that we have to deal with? Let's go check it out, or any action items. So we do two action items, and we'll say filter on the selected project plan task. So that it basically it's saying, go find any project action items related to this task, which is work WBS 1.4, right? So 1.4 here. So let's go filter on this. And it's going to take us to the action items tab, where it's going to quickly sort and filter on 1.4. And now we can have a discussion about these items. It'll also highlight the header to give you a visual cue that you're looking at a filtered version of the action item sheet. We could also go and clear the filter here if we want to go see everything again. And just like that, it clears the filter. Some other things you may want to do is some standard filtering. Again, I mentioned this. You notice these little drop downs. Say we want to see everything that Jane Doe is working on. So we'll clear everything. We'll just select Jane. And we can see her tasks. We select all to unclear. And we could do that on multiple, um, multiple ones, etc. We get sort. So now I can see all the ones coming up, etc. Where I could go and I could sort back by the ID. And that's how we use the action items tab. I hope you like this bit of functionality. I had real, a lot of fun kind of imagining how it would interact with the project plan. Always looking for future suggestions. Uh, thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for uh, some more videos on additional functionality within these sheets. Take care.